Hello everybody, Kaboost.exe here, and I'm going to tell you something really helpful. A nice way to farm caps, hunting rifles, XP, 308 rounds, and even gunpowder. If you see here, it's a dried up lake. And we are entering the town of Summersville. I found this town to be a great location to farm all these items. So let me show you where it is on the map, all right? You're going to see this big lake here, and this area is going to be just south of the vault. So going south of the vault, you'll see a big lake, and it's going to be the town in between 87A and 87. It's also going to be just east of Camp McClintock, so it's not too hard to find. So why am I sending you here? Well, this town is full of super mutants, and you're probably thinking, Caboose, why are you sending me into a town full of super mutants. That sounds like a really dumb idea. Let me explain. As you can see, I just got 33 XP. On top of that, I got three caps. Now that might not sound like a lot, but there's a lot of super mutants here and they respawn frequently. So just come here and you can kill them, get the XP and get the caps. On top of that, almost every single super mutant carries three weight rounds and hunting rifles. When I say that, I mean almost every single super mutant carries them. If they're not carrying 308s and a hunting rifle, then they're probably carrying 38s and a wooden board. Either way, they're still carrying caps and gunpowder. Here's what I would recommend doing. If you're by yourself, you're gonna need a lot of stim packs, so I'd recommend doing this with some friends. Don't worry about them taking your items. That's not how this game works. You each get to loot them separately and get your own stash of items. You all should still get the same stuff. What I would recommend is after you loot them or maybe beforehand is go out a little bit into the dried up lake and put up a camp. I'd recommend putting up some defenses in case you really need somewhere to retreat to. You're mainly gonna need defenses and a place to retreat to if you're doing this by yourself. They really came after me. But when I did this with friends, they, they couldn't leave. We killed them. We just swarmed in and killed them. Then what you do after you killed them all, you know, you drop your stuff off at the camp, you know, break all the guns apart, you know, deposit the stuff, make whatever you need. Then maybe go chill out by the lake for a little bit, killing the enemies there, because some of the enemies spawn there. Then come back into town like two to five minutes later, and they've all respawned. Not even that, though. I've had it where we killed them, walked out, dropped our stuff off, and it went back into town, and they were all back. We were probably gone for at most a minute. I kid you not. So that's why I find this to be a very good place to get caps, XP, hunting rifles, 308 rounds, and gunpowder. Gunpowder is good to make bullets. To put in perspective how many 308 rounds I had when I left this, when Dichronic joined us about two to three hours left in the beta, I gave him a hunting rifle and about 200 rounds of 308, and I still had like 250 to spare. You will not need to make 308 rounds if you do this, at least for quite some time. And the hunting rifle is a great early game weapon. On top of that, when you scrap all those hunting rifles, you're gonna get the mods you need in order to upgrade it. But uh, that's a video for a different day. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I'm gonna be doing some more Fallout stuff, so you know, subscribe if you wanna see more. If you like the video, you know, leave a like, tell me what you guys think. If you guys know of any other spots, let me know in the comments. If this has been very helpful for you, let me, let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Well, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoy the beta and the game's release, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.